Hello and welcome to this gameplay demonstration of the Mud Alterion. Today I'll be logging on as Dark Lord. Dark Lord is a level 32 warrior thief. So we're going to go ahead and do his solo run with his skill set. First thing I'm going to do is a little trick in case anybody else wants to do this. I ignore everyone, so I won't get any background chatter. Uh, I think I'll turn my auction channel off for now, so you won't hear that either. Alright, another thing, when I always start up, I have an alias that I run. That sets, a, sets, sets up a bunch of variables for me with regards to my equipment sets. Um, I recently redid my equipment sets. I used to have about 30 or so, and I've only got 13. I wish I could remember all the numbers for the waypoints. Let's go ahead and get the one that will be closest, which is Deserted Chapel. Here we go. I hope my microphone's picking up the sounds here that my brother made. They're very good. Today we'll be doing an experience run. Intrinsic. The City of the Elves. Just take me a moment to walk out here. This is one of the older areas of the mud. I know it quite well. I know all of my enemies' names and the people I'm going to kill. We start out with a backstab, because that's what I do when I'm in my solo suit. Of course, Questor likes to run around a lot. Yeah, I need to open that area. Wow, he is gone. Took one look at me and just ran for it. Yeah, I need to learn forest navigation, too. Dark Lord's pretty old. He runs out of movement fast. I mean, just look at him. He's 177 years old. Poor guy. Alright. I think I already put my backstab alias into place. You'll notice I'm using a rune-edged black knife, which is actually pretty crummy for my level. I had it in a had it on one of my storage characters. Well, my only storage character anymore, Slave. Uh, I tried to use a whetstone on my room, my lost Spear of the Ancients, which is what I had been using. That uh, didn't work out very well. Almost killed me. Good thing I had Sanctuary up. Alright, we're going to start out with a backstab here. Okay, we do my after backstab alias, which puts up the correct weapon here. Uh, my character sounds ridiculous because it's neuter. And I haven't done anything about the neuter sounds yet. I'm probably going to go ahead and just change Dark Lord over to male so he doesn't sound... Well, so he doesn't sound like that anymore. Oh, even if you do ignore all, it doesn't ignore gods automatically. I would have to ignore the gods too, but... Gods on Alterion are usually pretty quiet and unobtrusive, so... I don't see any reason to do that. Right now, I'm just straight mailing these guys. These elven sentries aren't very high level, and they're not going to give me good experience anyway. Um, you'll find that a lot of the mobs here aren't going to challenge Dark Lord very much. He's just too high level for them. Ooh, better at blood sacrifice. I have an alias that automatically blood sacrifices and loots corpses. Something everybody ought to consider having. Well, let's just move on and start beating the stuffing on everybody I can find. See how much experience I can get. I've got to remember to get a preamp for this microphone. Either that or i got to remember to talk louder. I have a tendency to mumble to myself, I've noticed. Go ahead and throw a leap in there for good measure. I do apologize, I have not learned the new warrior skills yet. I would love to have Dark Lord show them off, but I am currently having him learn the Lightning's Mage spell tree, so those are not available yet. Ooh, we got a soldier up here too. Thankfully Dark Lord's tough enough, as you can see here, to probably take on 
uh, three or four of these mobs at once. We're going to go ahead and throw up some spells now, just because things are going to get a little bit more interesting. Here we go. Ooh, considerable damage. And of course an elven soldier walks in to help, but I'll kill him too. Go ahead and use leap attack and my fight with Artemis here quickly. And that way I can focus on the soldier. Soldiers have pretty high AC. So I use fairy fire to try and ease things up a little bit. Another thing I do when I make the fight go faster is I'll just start casting Greater Fireball. That is my favorite spell ever. Just to get things moving. I love that sound it makes, too. I've got Greater Fireball at perfect. Yeah, that was a very good experience. I'll probably try and avoid soldiers from now on. CC is my alias for Cure Critical Wounds. Just so I don't have to type, you know, C, C, U, C. I could just type CC and cure myself. Also been trying to practice flame strike lately. I don't know why. It just makes a funny sound. And I like the idea of a column of fire descending from the heavens to engulf my enemies. That's why I really used to like the old demon fire spell, but I don't know if we'll ever get that back. Get myself some movement here. Heal myself up a little bit. You'll notice I'm skipping over some of the mobs. I'm really just going after the ones that are going to give me the best experience. Which it really isn't very much. But I don't think you want to spend a bunch of time watching Dark Lord regen. So rather than watch me regenerate, I'll just kill off some weaker mobs. And it'll be a lot more fun to watch. Oh. Some of these sounds almost make me feel sorry I'm killing them. Almost. No. You know, so all my aliases shuffle my ion stones around. I need to make sure they're in the top slot of my inventory for them to work. Actually, none of them work right now. I have to go to West Naginag and trade them in for new ones that aren't broken by the code. Don't quite have enough for a leap yet. Yeah, usually a yellow would kick in by now. But... There we go. When you do go to regen and transic, you probably want to go right outside of town and sleep. Otherwise, you're going to get jumped by a drunk. And there might be a soldier around to assist him. Put on my regen gear. Some of this regen stuff I've had from way back. I like Vimber's holy system. Sorry, holy symbol. 